Well, the Freeman community filled the halls last night at school, entering the building for the first time since the shooting. One step of many on a long road of healing, and their return to class on Monday will be another. School staff working hard to prepare for that. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke heard from them today, and Caroline, lots of, of care and precaution being taken uh, during this process. Absolutely. They are so intentional with building these, you know, plans to bring this community back together. Monday will certainly be a challenging day for the Freeman family, but hopefully one of healing. School will start and end at the regular times, but the discussions and the focus within the classrooms with teachers, with students, uh, will be one of healing and, and building relationships, fostering support. And that isn't just for students and staff members. Uh, parents are actually asked by the district to come with their students to class on Monday. And and stay there with them to be with them for as long as they feel necessary. Everybody is is welcome there. They'll have counselors in every classroom uh, to answer questions, to provide support. This you know community is so close. Many of the parents of these students, possibly even grandparents, went to the school. This is their home too. And so building that support and really making the whole entire Freeman community feel safe is the goal that the school is pushing here. And that starts, of course, tonight with this football game. Crowds here just so eager. Uh, uh, despite the tragedy of this week to be back together. I don't really think it's about football tonight, to be honest with you. I think it's about a community gathering. It's going to be a positive event, and that's exactly what we need. That is uh, Freeman School District Superintendent Randy Russell. He spoke to us at a press conference today. He mentioned that he has spoken uh, today to both the family of Sam Strahan as well as the Sharp family to extend the school's thoughts to them. He was not able to comment specifically on reports that have come out about uh, notification to school counselors about possible warning signs, but he did say there are guidelines in place and that the teachers and staff at this school know them and abide by them. I can tell you is that we have a process that we follow. We use the same process every time, and if we're made aware of a situation, we follow that process and stick to it, and we did. For now, of course, the focus is on bringing this whole entire Freeman family home. And when they do arrive back on Monday, they'll be met by a staff tunnel to provide smiles and hugs and comfort. That is a familiar Freeman tradition, Russell says, and it will be surely met with comfort and with warmth. For now, reporting from Freeman High School, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. Thank you, Caroline.